All right, so let's solve a problem which appeared in Jeremy in 2025. In this question, uh, we have been given a word Kanpur and we have to arrange uh, this in as it is arranged in the dictionary so that the 450th position word we have to find whether those letters are having any meaning or, so, meaning or not is immaterial. So we just have to find that, all right? So let's look at it. How do you solve this? So in this case, generally, like this dictionary problem, we try to sort of arrange them in the ascending order. So first of all, let's write out the letters over here in this order so that they're in ascending order in a sense that the first letter is A, then what we get is K, then, then we get N, then we get P, and then we get R, and then we get U. So this is how the letters would be appearing in the dictionary. And then any words which will be used, uh, like which will be formed using the letter A would be in the beginning. And after that, it will be words starting with the letter K and N and P and R and so forth, so on and so forth. So first of all, let's figure out like how many words we can find using the letter A as the first letter. So there will be five places to be filled when the first letter is basically A. And that could be done in five, four, three, two, and one, which is 120 ways. Similarly, I can take K and then again, I will have five places to fill and that can as well be done in 120 ways. So then I come to N and then same way, this will be also done in 120 ways. Now we are done with uh, 360. If I go to P, then I will be crossing over. Like if I just look at all the words, then it will become 120, which is 480. But we just want the 440th word. So the word would be starting with the letter P. That is for sure. And that is what is also given. All this is given. Now, the next thing is that, okay, the first letter is P. And then if I look at all the words starting with P, it will be coming out to be 120, which will make it 480. But we don't want to go to 480 because 12 into 120 into 120 plus 120 plus 120 plus 120, right? So we don't want to reach there, but rather we want to reach a little bit nearer. So let's say we will go again in the order. So first, if I put P and A, then there are four places to be filled, right? And then that can be filled in 24 ways. Okay, so 24 will be done. So similarly, like if I start with P and then K, then again, there will be 24 words could be done. And then we start with N, then again, 24 words would be done. So with this, what happened? Like just look at 480 or rather, just try to start looking at from 440 onwards. So we had got 440. Then this 360 was done. So 360 is done. So we are left with 80. Now with 80, this 24 into 3, 72 are done. So we are done with 72. Now only 8 are left. So for sure, now we will be done with and now the next one will is, is the one which we want. So this will be, so A, K, N, and then P is this the first word. So now the R is only left. So R is the one which will be starting with. So R is fine. Now, if I look at R and then look at all the four places, then I will be crossing over to 24. So I don't want that. Then, so what I want is then I will start looking for the third letter which can be filled and that will be A. This is the first letter which can be filled in the dictionary. So P, R, A, now there are three spaces left. So that could be like three into two into one, right? So that will be six ways that can be done. So now six letters more would be done. So, okay, we are done with this. So definitely this PR and then what is next? K is the one which is the next one. Now I want the next one to be what? A. So PRKA, right? Now with this, if I'm looking at two more places to be filled, they can be filled in two ways, right? So that is what we want because eight minus six is two is what we want. So the first thing again going in that same order so our p is done r is done k is done a is done now what we are left with n and u so the letter in the order would be first will be basically n u that will be my first one and the next one will be u n and that is where i'll reach to the eighth one right and that is what will be my answer to it so p r k a u n will be my answer to it okay 
Uh, just again reiterating the point. So what we are looking at is we are just trying to figure out 440th word, right? So we, we just try to count out all the words one by one. So starting with A, 20, 120 words will be there. Starting with K, 120 will be there. Starting with N, 120 would be there. Using this, 360 is done. We are left with 80. Now we again go in this order. So the next one is starting with P because we are done with A, K, N and P. Now again, we'll have to go in this order. So first I'll start with A. So two places are filled and next four places can be filled in four into three into two into one, which is 24 ways. So this is 24 it is done. Then I look for K, I'll put this and then 24 it will be done. Then N, then again it will be done in 24 ways. Now out of 80, 72 is done, eight is left. Now again, I'll try to go in the order. So we are, we are knowing that a, K, N, we are done with. Now the next one is only R. So we'll put R, but we'll start looking at as that we should not be trying to go beyond eight words, right? So then we start looking for the letter A and then look at, okay. Then when I'll fill A, then I'll be done with three places and then three places are left. So they, they can be filled in six ways. Now, so we are left with two now. Then we are trying to fill two places. Then we come to the next one. After A, there is K. Then we fill P, R, K, and then start with A, and then figure out that, okay, there will be only two words which can be found with, starting with this P, R, K, A. The one will be N, U, and then will be U, N, and that is what we want. This will be the, the seventh word, and this will be the eighth word, right? So that is all it is. Okay, so this is a little bit like lengthy problem, but such problems have again come in J earlier. So you know how to solve this, right? So this was a simple problem only that we had to do a little bit of calculation. All right. So that's all for this question. If you've got any queries, do ask me in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.